joining us from Bomas of Kenya, where Waipa leader Kalonzo Musika is going to be uh, giving out the certificate to the aspirants who were able to clinch the nominations. All uh, right, let's hear a con uh, comment here by Dan Manzo, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and a very, an avid and a very um, staunch member of Waipa Party. So talk to us about your party. What's happening yes, uh, there? First of all, a lot I of trouble brewing. <laughs> no, there's no trouble at all. And I want to say that uh, if Senator Mudama had moved from Waipa and left totally out of NASA, mm -hmm. then there would have been worries. But Mudama, Senator Mudama is in NASA. Yeah. And therefore, there's very little change uh, because we are working together and I'm sure we're going to succeed. Yeah. Uh, I want also to say about uh, Senator Musila, uh, I, I personally thought uh, he moved very quickly uh, after uh, the announcement of the results. Mm. If he had gone through the processes, I'm sure there would have been a repeat of elections and would have been more satisfied now, just as it has happened in Machakas. But now that he has moved on, he, he's still ours. Uh, he's still in NASA. <laughs> and in the event, he doesn't become the governor of Kitui. And I'm, I'm, I'm very sure NASA is winning the election. He's going to be the minister for interior. <laughs> as, as soon as the Honorable guy said he parks, the Honorable Musila will be the new minister. Are you already so, promising So his, uh, his, his tears are already wiped um, by wiper, <laughs> and he's good to go. His so, tears are wiped <laughs> yes, by Yes, uh, so I, 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 I believe, uh, you know, the Honorable Mudama has some points. What I don't agree with him, uh, absolutely. Last time, he's the one who supported the candidature of the Honorable Wavinya Dati. Hmm. So I'm wondering what has changed now. Uh, that, that uh, he really supported her, and uh, they have a very good rapport. Mm -hmm. She's a very strong candidate. You can mm -hmm. see how she mm -hmm. cleared Kiala, mm -hmm. and she's going to clear <laughs> Mutua. Cleared Kiala. Yeah, in the nomination. His choice of words to, today is very interesting. Yeah, you, you know, she's, she, she, she's <laughs> going to, be, to beat uh, Mutua hands down. Mm -hmm. I think Mudama's biggest problem has been uh, the governor of Machako's yeah. uh, Mutua. So why would Out he of his wayward methods of one foot is in... In, in Waipa, the other foot was in Jubilee for a long time. Finally, he quit. Mm -hmm. Now he says he's not in Jubilee. Uh, you know, <laughs> mixed up. But going back to Muthama, why would he leave if everything seems to be laid out properly? He has Wavinya Ndeti, who, like you mentioned, was uh, also he supported her quite a lot. Yeah, yes. She that, stands that, a chance to beat Alfred That's the Mutual. only thing I don't understand uh, about him mm -hmm. on that particular issue. But I believe mm -hmm. it's a matter which is going to be sorted out quickly. We are one family. Uh, he's a very strong member, mm. uh, and uh, you know, even uh, he's, he's supporting NASA very well. So I believe that's a matter by this afternoon will be resolved, and we'll all move on together. Everybody was bruised during these nominations, <laughs> from uh, from uh, Jubilee to ODM to Wiper, yeah. everybody. And uh, nominations are very bruising for obvious reasons, uh, and these seats are very competitive, and we expect everybody to, to do their best. All right. So, so, so it's just competition is very healthy. You have the best candidates, and uh, the Honorable Kalonzo Musyoka is very good at predicting politics. So once in a while... So did he predict that... Yes, once Sultan in a while, if he advises a candidate, a candidate may feel <laughs> he's not for me, but trust me, mm. his prediction will come right. The advice <laughs> he gives uh, is right. So sometimes it's not about the will of the people, it's about no, the, no, the you, predictions. You no, know, uh, <laughs> it's been there for some time. <laughs> yeah. uh, he can okay. advise a candidate, look, if you mm. go this way, this is mm. what's going to happen. If you do this, you will succeed. All right. He, he knows the people, and we have allowed the people to vote. You saw it in Majakos County. People mm. voted for Afinia. These are very many people who have come out to vote. Okay. In fact, they are equivalent to what voted in the last general election. Mini now, she has already won. <laughs> the seat. Okay. One day, I'd like to hear. First of all, is Mutama coming to ODM as the director of political well, affairs? Uh, well, uh, Mutama is still in Waipa. He's and, still and, in Waipa. And in NASA, for that matter, <laughs> which is the most important thing. So he's not ditched Waipa? No, as far as I'm aware, uh, Mutama is still remains in Waipa. And we want him to stay there, really. So, so, so strengthen Wiper and also to help us strengthen NASA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mudama is a, a key asset for us in NASA, and we want him to remain s strong. What you are seeing, and I don't agree with Honorable Manso, is nothing unusual. Yeah, these are things you have, have to expect uh, during electioneering period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, because elections are by nature are supposed to be competitive. And when people compete, uh, they are supposed the people lose, others win. And in the process, uh, others feel uh, bruised, as he's, uh, as he's rightly put it. <laughs> so uh, we don't expect much uh, distraction from this little disturbance uh, in, 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 in Wiper. Yeah, we are very focused as NASA uh, on our mission okay. to liberate this country. All right. Yes. Now, when oh, you talk, like when you talk of a, a nomination, mm -hmm. is it in Nairobi? I was saying this morning radio, there are many persons who won MCS, but they are not being given the certificate. <laughs> some have to pay some money. Specifically for Wiper? 
or for a, the audience. Board. That was okay. audience, audience, okay. audience, audience, audience. audience eh? right. I think there was talking a bit. Well, well, yeah, well, let me finish first. <laughs> and you're talking about, corrup uh, about corruption here. <laughs> it was here today. Yeah. <laughs> Heard of that? That's one. Uh -huh. Then two, both of you. You remember the, the seat for Alonzo's son and Oburo Ginga? You know, there are many Kenyans who want jobs. Mm -hmm. And had you, if it were not for the noise, they were going to get those jobs. Surely. How honest are you on terms of mm -hmm. fighting corruption mm -hmm. or fighting for the country? Mm -hmm. You see, there are two issues there. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. one, one, I don't think there is anything like uh, some people paying money to get certificates once they have won nominations in ODM or any other party within NASA, for that matter. Uh, and people are just anxious. No, the certificates are a matter of life and death to people. So that once you've won and it's taking quite longer for you to get a certificate, you become anxious and jittery. But otherwise, everything is in, is, is in place. Mm. Uh, and ultimately, those who won properly will be given their certificates to contest elections. But coming to the matter of um, uh, Kalonzo's son and yes, yes. Dr. Muro mm. Ginga, mm. I, I think Kenyans must also be careful, lest we entrench what I would call uh, reverse discrimination. Yeah, because it's something against the law. When um, Kalonzo San or Dr. Buro Genga uh, um, put their themselves, offer themselves for these positions. But having said that, again, it was basically a matter that was taken out of context. Because as you know, uh, Dr. Buro Genga was actually not going to, to, to run for the yellow thing, okay? Uh, but it, uh, he has since clarified. But more importantly, we need to understand that we as NASA stand very strongly for inclusivity. Inclusivity is not a question of just picking one or two people and then starting to shout, like Duale was doing the other day. <laughs> okay? Don't you think that's the reason yeah. why there are many no. questions about Kalonzo's son? Because it's enough that he, you know, his it's father is a, a running, he's a running mate to if, Raila Odinga. If you start well. that the qualified Kenyans, mm -hmm. a time is coming when the poor children of the poor who are educated will not get anything except our children. No, I think yeah. unclarified. Isn't you know, you know anybody is free to apply. Yeah. And there is usually an election. Yeah. Votes will be cast. Yeah. So a mere application or expression of interest, mm -hmm. really, is, is, is not I out think. of order. It's, a, it's normal for anybody, any young person to be ambitious. Mm. And uh, you can see the applicants are now 99, yeah. and the positions <laughs> are nice. nine. <laughs> and the vote <laughs> is in parliament. Correct. So <laughs> you'll have to go and look for the vote. So you have to convince <laughs> members to vote for you because it is free and fair Unfair. for everybody. And about uh, the so-called payments to political parties. Mm. You see, Kenyans should never encourage corruption. Uh, political parties are proper structures. If you know you have one square, yeah. you don't have to pay anybody. What happens is some people set themselves up as brokers while the, the, the reconciliation process is going on, where complaints are being listened mm. to, while people have gone to the tribunal. You don't expect to win today. Tomorrow you are taken to the tribunal. And instead of going to the tribunal, you are demanding for a certificate. certificate. Yeah. If you meet some con man outside Orange House <laughs> yeah. or Wiper House, yeah. who, who is not even known to the party, he'll cheat you. But I know the Honorable Raila Odinga. Yeah. Give me this. Uh, and you know the Honorable Raila Odinga or Kalonzo Musioka are not aware of those fellows. <laughs> so you'll be conned outside there. And if you don't get the certificate, you have yourself to blame. Yes. I, I want to encourage Kenyans not to make payments, uh, you know, of such a thing, where, where you know you have won free and fairly. Yeah. Follow justice system. Don't pay some side show person. Okay. But, they'll just you know, be caught. We, we watch news uh, like everybody else. Right. You know, let me tell you why it's rough, laughable. Mm. Take the one in Kisumu. The returning officer in Kisumu announces Jack Rangumo with the night 4,000. The deputy returning officer in a place which is now about 40, 50 kilometers away announces Professor Nyong. And that's the same party. Uh, look, look, look at that confusion mm. and say there's corruption, surely. Okay. Well, 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 but you see, <laughs> but you see, first, let's take the example of Kisumu. Because I've just, the main, the main, yeah, I just said one. But even that particular example, mm. you know, it has since gone through the process, due process. Mm. Hey, Jack Ranguma has uh, petitioned, it has gone through the tribunal, the tribunal has pronounced itself on the matter, and it has been deemed that uh, Professor Nyang Nyong was duly nominated. So Maybe the matter has, has rested. But you know, there are very uh, many Kenyans who yeah. are not in that level, who could not go up because they have to pay a fee. There are many on the ground, right. silent majority, who well, are well, suffering. Well, just, justice has a cost, mm. you know, really. But I think you must also understand, Betty, mm. <laughs> that the reason why you see a lot of justly for these certificates in our party or coalition is because of, of, course of the popularity of this party and the coalition. Yes. But also, don't you think that this is going to really affect, uh, you know, how the, how the the future of the party, yeah. the, all these rifts mm. um, in the party, all these questions about mm. who mm. won, mm. how? Mm. Don't you think they're going to have an after effect? Political parties, the world over, <laughs> and historically, have had contests and disputes, the world over, and historically. Mm. So it's not going to end today or tomorrow. 
Okay? The most important thing is, are there mechanisms mm -hmm. to, do it, yeah. to resolve these disputes yeah. okay. mm -hmm. if and when they arise? Mm -hmm. right. And the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. In ODM, at mm -hmm. least, and also in NASA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think in future, right. I, IBC should be doing the nomination. Yeah. In, in, so in some the, proposal future, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, proposal yeah. Right. But right now, mm. they, they didn't have the structure the because structure. Okay. IBC must have the structure. Time, yeah. Yeah, okay. mm. You can imagine if IBC contacted uh, the nominations of Jubilee, which they had been proposed to. First of all, the monies, uh, you believe oh, okay. they needed to pay them mm -hmm. or the government pay for it. Okay. And then the chaos, which would oh. have resulted. Nobody would be having faith in IBC oh, now. Okay, okay. All right. So, so, so I, I think at times it's, it's good to leave it open, at that the the parties feel free. Mm -hmm. If you want to go and fight within your party, yeah. you have your party structures, okay. you have an appeals board, mm -hmm. you have a tribunal, mm -hmm. you have a court. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no way you'll lose if okay. you have if you are popular with the people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, finally, let's, uh, as we wind up the conversation, something that my colleague Rosalind Wabala mentioned, that uh, the gender role debate is not even part of the, of the mm -hmm. top priority. Yes. Uh, and that is and not, I... that's not by accident. M you, not by accident? I can tell you because the greatest enemy to the women of this country is Jubilee and its leadership. <laughs> but Aidan Dwale is uh, spearheading I want to tell you well, the reason why I'm saying that. You remember this bill has not come to, has come to parliament not once, yes. not twice, very many times. Yeah. And every time it has come to parliament, it has been shut down on account of lack of quorum or, any, or some other excuse. Mm -hmm. If the determination we are seeing, the supposed determination we are seeing uh, in Uhuru Kenyatta now, if that determination was there before, from the word go, mm -hmm. this bill would by now would be now by now below. I can tell you because we'll recall clearly. When this bill came to parliament for voting, none other than Raila Amolo Odinga came to the public gallery, the speaker's gallery, to rally his troops within the court coalition then to vote for this bill to pass into law. What happened? The Jubilee people ran away. Some were in Femina, some went abroad. In fact, in fact the president I think, went abroad with some of, some of the MPs <laughs> at that time. So what we are seeing now is total lip service that the Jubilee Administration is paying to the question of gender, okay? And, and therefore, I don't expect much. I want to be very honest with you. I don't expect much but at least between now and the, time of this, and, and the end of the time of this parliament. Mm -hmm. yes. First of all, you know it is the work of the leader of majority mm -hmm. to bring this bill on the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time he, he, he fronted it, the, 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 you know, they wanted uh, most of the gains to be made gradually. And mm -hmm. this is what... Uh, most ladies in uh, most members of parliament uh, or who are ladies had a problem with. Mm. They, they wanted it now. Uh, everything passed now. <laughs> uh, but uh, the government was proposing let's do everything gradually, as, as one of the uh, indications in one of the judgments. Now, there's a judgment which has been presented. Mm. The question is has it not been overtaken by events? Mm. Has it not come too late uh, in the house? And even if you are to dissolve the house, in the, in, the la, in, the, in the remaining 90 days, mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you still bring gender in the house? So I think mm -hmm. the government and the leader of majority must really want to support this. And in fact, the opponents of, uh, of, of this gender rule are men, uh, the members especially from uh, uh, Central Kenya, mm -hmm. where they claimed, <laughs> yes. you know what we have been going through with this gender. But Manzo, your, your comment about that, you know, goes to the question of, you know, how really is, you know, are you legislators committed to passing this? We are. And I've always voted with the women. I've always supported them in the House. But you're saying that it has, it has been turn, passed over most by of the time. men turn away, especially from Jubilee. Yeah. They have and very scary, very drastic comments yeah. about this gender issue. And I think we need to begin changing the mindset of Kenyans first. That gender, you can't force uh, the customary ways into a law by force right now. You need to change the thinking of the communities first. But the constitution <laughs> is the constitution. I'd like to hear Kach. Uh, so every, I everybody hear son, you. Everybody's son of a woman, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, but the constitution any talks about third gender, yes. and the constitution mentioned about gender in, in, in many, many uh, aspects, including appointments and things like, things like that. Mm -hmm. And even the issue of bringing the women representative was part of assisting that. And there's also affirmation action, actions, uh, uh, support. All those are there towards this scenario. Mm. But it takes time to change the culture. It will change, but the culture is not easy. Yeah. 
should go back to the culture. Yeah. Yes, and, and I want to say that, you know, easy. even the, the court pronounced itself, and now the, the cabinet currently is composed, mm -hmm. but stayed the judgment. Yeah. That mm -hmm. even the president himself should mm -hmm. have ensured gender, mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a gender balance in the appointment mm -hmm. of cabinets, in, a, mm -hmm. in many other many civil things, service appointments mm -hmm. where there will be no issue of mm -hmm. voting. Okay. Now you have to force mm. voters mm. to vote in a certain mm. way. Mm. It's a little tricky. Mm. Uh, yeah. The country has to move together. Mm. But generally, there, Finally, there are attempts. Final, final thoughts. Generally, there are attempts to what that, towards that direction. Attempts. Generally, attempts. Yeah. Political o will is there political will, as you hear mm. our colleagues here saying? I see. In, in terms of appointments, it's coming up. In terms of any debates, we try to be, bring aspect of gender, and that will make sure that we lose the culture of not having gender around us. And in any case, even the country, the, 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 the other gender do much better than, you know, the boy child gender, they talk of being endangered species yes. now because we're giving more attention to the girl. Yeah. And over, over time, things will change. Well, uh, and Betty, <laughs> really, in, my, in my view, all is, all is not lost. Uh, even if this bill fails, as I, as I suspect it will, mm. Uh, there's always another wow. chance in the next parliament when uh, NASA will be in power <laughs> and we shall for sure ensure that this bill uh, comes to pass. All right, yeah. fin finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, I also want to concur with him that there is hope. Yeah. We should not give a hope. That's what we the said last year. The yeah. constitution is a supreme law. Yeah. The constitution mm. clearly. Mm. allows, you know, gender rule. Yeah. The problem is implementation, mm. which is in the hands of uh, the policymakers mm. and uh, the current government. Uh, and that we look forward into a future uh, where um, NASA, when in power, will make sure this rule is uh, in the books mm -hmm. and will also make sure it is practiced. So I urge all the women in the country to vote for NASA so that we can have this one that yeah. gender yeah. rule passed yes. yeah. in clean wow. legislat legislation. Mm -hmm. It has to still go back to uh, <laughs> politics. Thank you very much, thank gentlemen, you very much. Uh, you. for your time. You. Dan Manzo, Pio Wandai, and Felix Okach. Thank you very much for your thank time. You, thank you, thank you. All right, so we'll take a short break here on the show, but we're coming back in a few minutes to continue with our coverage. Don't go away, we'll be right back. <laughs>